Welcome back students, this is Chendu Gaud. In today's video, I am going to discuss on J into H passing mark. So what is the minimum passing mark uh, to be satisfied uh, in any of the course? I have uh, made a tabular problem for making you understand very clear. So I have written the internal which is for 25 mark and the external which is for 75 mark and summing of these to the total is 100 mark. So in order to qualify in any of the course, out of 75 mark, it is uh, the minimum requirement is 35 percent. So for a 75 mark, the 35 percent is 26. But whereas, dear students, in order to clear this course with a credit, you should get a minimum of 40 percent, 41, 40 percent out of 100 marks. So we are going to conduct two internal exams, mid one and mid two, and average of these two is this mark. So in order to get 40, you should have a minimum of 14 mark here. For example, if you are getting 35 percent, let it say it is 26. So when you sum up these two, it should be 40, then your result is pass. And you will be getting a grade C. C is a minimum grade to uh, a pass in JNTU or any course. Now let's take at the second uh, case. A student secured 26 marks in the external, which he is cleared with this 35 percent. But in order to get a 40 mark, Whereas, he got 20 mark here, which is greater than 20, no worries, but he is passed even here also. Why? Because when you sum up, it is greater than 46. So, here the case is also pass. And few students won't be taking uh, the internal exam. They will be absent from the exam or they scoring 0 mark here. But whereas, students scored only 26 mark, which is 35% of 75 mark. But whereas, when you sum up the internal evaluation as well as the external exam, as I told you, you should get a minimum requirement of 40 mark, but here it is only 26. Why? Because here a student got 0, so it is fail. Why? Because you did not get 40 marks, so the course is fail. Here you are supposed to get 40. Whereas in few cases, in order to get this instead of 26, so what you are supposed to do here is the same case, a student got 0 here, but whereas he got 40 here, why? Because in order to satisfy the sum up, if a student gets 0, he should satisfy with 40 mark in the external exam. So here we can say that the result is pass. Are you getting here student? For example, you got 0 here. As I told that minimum requirement is 26. But when you sum up, that is not getting 40 here. So that is the reason you can clear 40 mark in 75 mark. So the total should be sum up. When you sum up, that should be 40. And the result is pass. I have taken one more case. Uh, here a student got less than 35 percent whereas in the internal a student secured 100 percent but when you sum up these two it is greater than 40 that means 50 percent but due to one mark less a student is said to be failed in this course also even after securing 50 percent why because here a student should score 35 percent of mark which is equal to 26 even he scored 25 out of 25 the external exam. I hope it is very clear for all of you how, how many marks you need to get in the internals and how many marks you need to get in the external and when you sum up that should be greater than or equal to 40. So this is the passing mark for the under JNQH R18 regulation. Thank you.